The Raiders are 2-0. and That record in itself does not sound like a lot, but when you look back at their season last year, you did not expect the Raiders of last year to do anything that they're doing right now. They beat two playoff teams that were in the AFC North. They beat two playoff teams that are pretty much almost the exact same outside of the Ravens basically losing half of their team to torn ACLs. But Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's coming back on the defensive side of the ball maybe a little bit better outside of uh, their big pass rusher Bud Dupree leaving to Tennessee. So I don't know what's happening here, but the Raiders look absolutely incredible. And I know that Chucky, a.k.a. John Gruden, I don't know why I said it backwards, but I'm rolling with it. Yo, I know John Gruden is hyped to know that they are starting the season 2-0 and and Derek Carr is finally playing at a level that we all know he's capable of. I think it's crazy. I, I can't believe it, simply just because I don't want to say like Derek Carr was like a lost cause in the NFL. I remember a couple of years ago, there was a lot of hype around uh, Derek Carr and the Raiders possibly being like one of these teams to to pop up against a team that could compete against New England back when New England was kind of like in their Super Bowl run in kind of like the mid to later part of the 2010s. It just never really manifested itself and the Chiefs ended up popping up and kind of taking that spot away from them. But I got to say this, Derek Carr has looked absolutely phenomenal this year so far. Granted, it's only been two games, but this team lit it up against the Pittsburgh Steelers today. And Pittsburgh is coming off a, a very impressive road win against Buffalo the week prior. And Buffalo has one of the more dynamic offenses that this league has to offer. I mean, Derek Carr going 28 of 37 for 382 yards passing and two touchdowns against this defense is nothing short of phenomenal. And by the way, being able to do that on the road is another tip in his cap as well. So and not only that, we finally see a Henry Ruggs sighting simply just because Henry Ruggs was one of the most sought out wide receivers. And I believe the 2020 NFL draft, I might be screwing up the year. I hope it's that draft in particular. He had a really solid day, had five catches for over a buck 10, had a touchdown as well. Darren Waller, who's like Derek Carr's number one go-to guy. He had a relatively pedestrian game just because apparently Derek Carr likes to throw that guy the ball 20 times in a game. So I'm actually kind of surprised that his totals are a little bit higher, but you know, five catches for 65 yards is okay. But it really kind of goes to show like this is Derek Carr's offense. John Gruden has full confidence that he can lead this offense to new heights compared to where they've been the last couple of years. And defensively, they played well today. You know, granted, I don't think the Steelers like offensively are that great because Big Ben is looking like 39 going on 50 at this point. And despite that, the Raiders stepped up. So they held Big Ben to like 295 yards passing. Also got an interception from him. I know Deontay Johnson had a good game from the Steelers, but you held them to 17 points on the road. And it, Kevin, just to kind of like piggyback off the point that you were making, I'm just I'm absolutely shocked that this team is two and zero. I just I never expected it. I thought this team at best could go one and one, and that was it. Honestly, I thought they could have gone zero two just because. The Steelers are a really good team from last year. Baltimore is a really good team from last year. But they've really shocked me. And in large part, it's due to the fact that Derek Carr is just lighting it up and he's making plays happen. So, listen, I got to give the Raiders and Derek Carr a lot of respect. They have shown up these fe- these first two weeks. And I guess for their sake, I just hope it continues for them. Yeah, I, I mean, I stated it at the beginning for a reason. Nobody saw this coming. I don't care who you are. No one saw, no one thought that the, the, the Raiders were going to come out of nowhere, beat two playoff teams from the season before, two people from the AFC North, let alone, you know, two teams in general. You beat Lamar Jackson and you beat that Pittsburgh defense. And well, TJ Watt did leave the game in the second quarter. So, I mean, I know that he's injured. But overall, great performance. Um, Pittsburgh obviously has got to go back to the drawing board. Uh, ben looked a lot better than he did last week. I think that Ben played a very good game, five yards short of 300 total yards. He had a tut and then an interception. But overall, I think he had a solid game. I think where they're struggling right now is going to be running the football. They had 14 total rushes for 39 yards. That's 2.8 yards per carry. 
That's abysmal. If you're going to win in the National Football League, you have to be able to run the ball. And I think Pittsburgh has unfortunately been falling the last two seasons or so. Uh, They have not been able to move the football, move the chains, kind of get into that clock draining football. I think that they're relying on Ben at his age way too much. Another uh, Another 40 attempts today for him. I know that that's not going to bode well as the season progresses. Uh, The emergence of Deontay Johnson has been nothing short of spectacular. 12 total targets, 105 yards. Uh, No TDs today, but he's averaging 11.7 yards per reception today. So that's kind of crazy. But giving it back to the attention of Vegas, bouncing off what Kyle said, Derek Carr is playing MVP caliber football. I know that he's nowhere near the total touchdowns that Tom Brady is, but in terms of efficiency, leadership, and then just getting it done when it matters the absolute most. I think that Derek's playing great. It's about damn time. He's had a lot of shortcomings over his career. The Antonio Brown situation, breaking his leg against the Colts uh, later on in the season a few years back. Uh, The inconsistencies in the offensive line and the rotations of his coaching circle uh, have been nothing short of just absolutely annoying. But I'm looking here at something that Vegas can improve upon, and that's going to be running the football. They ran the ball 25 times, but they only had 52 total yards. That's 2.1 yards per carry. I didn't even fucking know Peyton Barber was on this team. I have Kenyon Drake in fantasy, and I saw, oh, okay, Josh Jacobs is out, so Kenyon's going to get the start. This man only had seven touches. Like, Chucky, what are you doing? You're one of the better offensive minds out there in the game. You guys got to be able to – if you want to continue to win in this league, you got to be able to run the ball. So that's one big area that they could focus on. And I'm going to give them credit in a place that I never thought I would give them credit in this season. Their defense today was spectacular. You held the Pittsburgh Steelers to 17 points, kept them under three yards per carry on the ground. You kept Ben at seven yards per attempt in the air. Got to give credit where credit is due, man. 